Well guys, I kind of wanted to give you a picture here of what is going on here in Florida with the foreclosures. Here is a, a prime example of um, what has happened here in Florida. And this is a foreclosure that is going to go on the market. And clearly it wasn't completed, um, but this is kind of what people are buying and thinking they're getting, you know, a fantastic deal. So let's go inside and I'll show you what's gone on in there. So this, as we come inside, is somewhat what you'll end up buying when you buy a foreclosed uh, property. Now this is a little worse for wear, obviously. Someone's knocked out all the cabinets, but this isn't completely unusual. If you buy a foreclosure, the chances of them having appliances are pretty slim. Um, this was a house that was under construction that was going to be finished and unfortunately um, ended up that it, it went into foreclosure and now um, you know some people are going to start bidding on this. Now, you know, what people are flying down here, people are jumping on the bandwagon to buy all these foreclosed properties thinking they're getting a huge deal. In some cases, it is. And what I want to talk about is a lot of people don't realize when you're buying a foreclosed property, the bank is selling it as is. And as is means you're getting it the way you see it. They're not going to come back and negotiate. They're not going to come back and, and fix anything. You get what you pay for. Uh, and that's a, a great thing to think about. Sometimes when a deal is too good to be true, it usually is. Uh, I would never ever suggest buying a foreclosure without doing an inspection. Sometimes there's not enough time. So do your research and find out what you know is coming on the market as a foreclosure. Some realtors are putting uh, the homes on the market maybe three or four days before you can put a bid in to the bank for that property. Just to give people time to do an inspection because once you put that offer in, it's solid. Uh, you know, even if there's a huge problem, you need a new roof or you need, you know, a lot of these homes are missing AC units. It, people are taking them right off the slab and, and they're taking their cabinets, they're taking their appliances. So you might get a huge deal on a fork, but then when you come back in and, and realize what you have to replace, it's sometimes not the best deal out there. And what we've got going on here in Florida right now, besides, you know, not having the electricity turned on and you could have problems with mold, is now we have Chinese drywall, which is a huge problem. If people don't realize what you know Chinese drywall is, um, I'll go into that in another video. But that's another reason to make sure you do an inspection beforehand. Because what once you put that offer in and that bank accepts it, you're in. And you could come find out that that's a huge problem. Uh, you know, you might have to, you have mold, have to redo the whole inside of the house, have, you know, that gutted, and now you're looking at 10, 20, $40,000. So make sure if you're wanting to go and buy a foreclosed property, you've actually inspected the property first. If you have any questions, you can give me an email or send me an email at ingawilson at me.com. Thanks again. Bye now.